Hi, Steve Green here. I'm back up in my log cabin in Maine for a few weeks. And, uh, but I'm really looking forward to coming back to Rochester, New York and doing my Bernunzio's workshop with jazz and blues improvisation. It's a great time. We have a lot of fun and we talk about jazz and blues and how to improvise. All instruments are welcome and uh, all levels of players are welcome. Sometimes people ask me what, you know, Steve, what is improvisation? And uh, I keep thinking about my grandfather who uh, really, he built this cabin. And uh, sometimes he would talk to me about winters in which he, uh, he couldn't go outside. I mean, there was like six foot snow drifts, the whole deal. Couldn't go outside, nothing, nothing, nothing food would get low and he'd say Steve put his arm around me it's interesting it was he was a cool guy um, during those hard times I would make log cabin tea and I want to show you just for a moment how he did this he told me about it and I, I do it up here sometimes as well I uh, you take a you, well you know when you don't have any food or anything you get a log from the cabin and then you take a knife or this was the actual putty knife that sometimes uh, my grandpa would use to uh, ca carve into the wood to get some chips for the tea so you just you know take it off and you know you gotta you gotta get a kettle going here this is this is an important part of course you need some some hot water frank get me a beer okay uh and geez i think you know how's everything going Good. All right. So you get that, get that kettle going here. You gotta kind of put it up. Frank, did you put that possum out? Okay. Anyway, you get the kettle going, and then you got got your tea cup, and then you put a bunch of shavings into the cup, and do all that. Now during the winter times. I asked my grandpa, he said, well, you know, Steve, that sometimes the tea would be very uh, nutritious because you'd have, well, from the wood from the summer months, you'd have uh, bugs, larvae, crickets. He said even once there was a butterfly in one of his teas that, I don't know, somehow got in the log into the tea, but he said it was bitter but colorful. And uh, but so there's protein in this and they could survive. Anyway, this should usually steep for about four hours, but uh, we'll just uh, get some going right here. A minute, get it going. Oops, excuse me. Okay, slosh it around a little bit, and you know the taste really isn't bad. It's a little barky, but. You know, you can understand these people. They were frontier people. Uh, but it's good, and I, I, I look forward to... Um... Frankie! The Improvisation Workshop. It's going to be great. Bernanzos are great people. A lot of great people show up. It's really good.